the death of the Celtic Tiger has left a lot of unfinished developments you know, up and down the country, which are a problem for the various, uh, for the initial developers, but more so for the financial institutions that are left with them on their books. Um, at Collins Boyd, we're actively working with a number of the leading receivers in the area, and we've worked on a number of housing developments, commercial developments, uh, pubs, restaurants, um, and various properties to see what best can be done with those properties. Often these properties are left in various states of limbo, either they're unfinished or they were poorly finished when the money ran out. So we look at cost-effective solutions so that the bank can recoup some of their money. They won't recoup at all, but with Collins Boyd they'll recoup more. Yes, we've been brought in by um, a, a legal group representing the apartment owners, 40 apartment owners in Priory Hall in Dublin, and we've acted as um, construction experts in civil, structural and fire uh, to help these people out. We've seen a lot of the problems, we've seen pretty much all of the problems. Uh, we've seen the pyrite, we've seen the settling cracks, we've seen roofs spreading, uh, we've seen dampness, uh, we've seen bad plumbing, bad electrics, you name it. Um, and we can offer solutions. Um, we will gladly inspect a premises before a person makes a purchase and advise them of what we see. These are uh, an example of very poor plumbing work that occurred in a house that was recently built and on seven different locations there were seven different leaks in the house causing a lot of stress to the family because it's floors are done in marble, uh, beautiful bathroom uh, walls tiled, they all have to be ripped apart, they wake up in the morning to floods in their bedroom, bathroom, and it's an absolute nuisance for these people. So these are the things we ensure that when we are the supervising engineer or the designer in uh, the case of a house or a commercial building, we ensure that you don't have these problems. We ensure that it's done to the proper standard and complies with the current regulations. Yeah, the Celtic Tiger, um, a lot of people thought that they could make easy money building houses and commercial units and various projects for people and unfortunately we're left with somewhat of a mess in Ireland to clean up. Uh, Collins Boyd, we're experts in what we do, we can see the problems, we can come up with innovative solutions, cost effective solutions and uh, we represent the client to the best of our ability. Fortunately not every um, conflict resolution goes well and invariably some of them end up at solicitors or in the courts. Um, at Collins Boyd, we've been at court for a number of times providing expert testimonials or engineering advice or basically telling it like it is um, impartially. Um, and we have built up an expertise in this over the past few years. Yes, we've used value engineering on a new, numerous projects uh, both in the US and Ireland. We have, for example, in, in, in some cases changed the conventional methods of construction where we go with uh, prefabricated, precast structures, saving money, using directional drilling rather than open cast cut for excavation for installing pipes. Sometimes consultants would have uh, specified concrete pipes and we would change them to twin wall curry pipes. Uh, we look at every project, look at how we can improve the design, how we can simplify the construction methods to try and improve it, deliver the project faster to a higher standard and to save the client money. Value engineering is about saving the client money and the contractor and this savings is shared between the contractor and the client and ultimately you get a project for cheaper in a faster time frame. Having worked both in the private sector and the public sector, when clients come to us and ask us if a particular site is suitable for a specific development, we're able to advise people as to whether it's suitable and whether they get planning permission or not from the local authority. So we take clients through the process where they look at the land, they're able to do a proper uh, financial model to see if it stacks up and if there's a return on, return on the investment. So they have the comfort in knowing that coming to us that we're looking at it. Uh, the success rate is very high with the planning because of our knowledge of having worked in the public sector and we're able to make the whole project commercially viable and inform the client so he can make informed decisions as to whether this is the way forward or not. We take them through the process and if they're successful on the side that they want to go ahead 
build the project and we're able to manage and supervise that process as well. Recently it's become more and more uh, a requirement by uh, projects and developments uh, that you do an environmental impact assessment and do an EIS report afterwards. This has become commonplace for urban developments, building projects within towns, quarry developments or any larger projects. They require that you do an environmental impact assessment. With Collins Boyd we do all that in-house, we have the expertise within in-house to deliver these environmental reports. We've done them for quarries, we've done them for urban developments and we continue to do them. You have functional spaces, air fill spaces, uh, high energy ratings, so the houses are the best possible.